Sweet potatoes are a major crop here in the great state of Mississippi. Nancy Freeman joins us this afternoon with some recipes that are sure to have you coming back for more. Sweet potatoes. Did you know that Mississippi is the second largest producer of sweet potatoes in the United States? We have delicious Beauregard variety sweet potatoes which give us a lovely orange appeal to your dinner plate as well as really packs a punch with some great nutrients. You know, it's got vitamin A, it's got beta carotene in it, it's a great source of fiber. It is a wonderful vegetable to put on a plate in a variety of different ways. The sweet potatoes that I have with me today, I'm going to show you how to do in a couple of different ways. And one of my favorite ways is a recipe that I got from the National Sweet Potato Festival. Vardaman, Mississippi is the capital of sweet potatoes throughout the world. So they have an annual event through the first week of November each year and all the cooks come out with their best. So I've chosen two of their award-winning recipes to share with you today. This is the cider baked sweet potatoes. Now that is just a pleasing dish and even if you're watching your waistline, it's a great dish to have because it's very light. It doesn't have all the extra fat and sugars that are typically associated with sweet potatoes, particularly baked when we add all the other things to it. It's as simple as this. You want to take a couple of sweet potatoes that you've got and we're going to take them and you simply would peel them down just very easy because sweet potatoes are so easy to prepare and we just simply peel this down. Once you get it peeled, you're going to take your knife and slice it into wafer thin pieces. Now, this is the trick to this recipe. If you cut it nice and thin, it cooks evenly and you get a nice dish out of it. So we're going to take it. You don't have to grease the dish or anything. You just take a dish that has a lid. You layer it in there just like this. And we're going to take a little bit of apple juice or you could use apple cider, whichever you prefer, and pour that in there. And then we're going to put in a little bit of our apple pie spice, which is a very nice blending. And you're talking about smelling good when it starts to bake. The next thing, you just do the same layer right over again. It is the simplest thing to make. Cooks in about an hour in a 350 degree oven and it's sure to be a pleaser around your household with a family meal and you don't have to worry about it messing up your waistline. And again, comes out lovely. You want to come out with it and make sure that it's just fork tender when you're ready to have it. Now, the second recipe, which most of us like a sweet, this is a sweet potato crunch and it's a layer of pecan crust on the bottom. It's got a wonderful sweet potato filling that's made with fresh sweet potatoes, which only take about 25 minutes to cook and mash. And then the top is a cream cheese mixture that's on it. And as you can see, this would be something that would surely please even the pickiest of dessert eaters around your house. So you want to be sure to offer some sweet potato crunch at the end of your next get together in your meals. Because again, sweet potatoes are easy to use. They're quick to have around the house. They cook in about 20, 25 minutes and you treat them just like any other potato. Clip off the ends, peel them, chop them up, and you can boil them or bake them, either one. So enjoy Mississippi sweet potatoes this time of the year and all throughout the year and try out these recipes. Check us out at WLOX.com and the link to the Farm Families of Mississippi.